What's up guys, this is Jordan Jensen here. Crush Drums, Dark Sermon. We're trying out some Vic Firth Titan drumsticks today. It's an Aerocraft grade carbon fiber composite drumstick. It's a size 5B. I got a pair of regular 5Bs. Now these are American Hickory. Regular sticks over here. And then I've got these 5B Shogun, which is a Japanese white oak. We're gonna be doing a wear test today in comparison to all of them, but with an emphasis on the Titan. This is something new, something really cool from Vic Firth, something I'm really interested in, and uh, I'd like to get some more opinions on it out there. So what we're gonna do today is get a wear test, do some hi-hat work, do some snare work. I'm gonna play our new single, Starve, and uh, we're gonna have some fun and see what all sounds and different things we can get out of these guys. Check it out. test on the Vic Firth Titan 5Bs. I'm going to be using my hi-hats and a snare drum just sitting for a consistent minute hitting as hard as I can and making sure that every hit's consistent just to get every chop out of these sticks and see what happens when you hit a hi-hat for an extended period of time and also a snare drum just rim shots straight driving it in and seeing about getting every inch of power out of these sticks and seeing what happens seeing the durability and uh, seeing what uh, what we can feel on them. Doing a wear test on the snare drum was definitely something I was excited about. Uh, when I play, you know, rock or metal or any any kind of gig really where I'm trying to get a lot of sound out of my snare, I'm a heavy rim shot guy and a lot of the strength and power I get comes out of my rim shots. So, you know, obviously I'm going to be wearing down sticks and somewhere around the Vic logo I'm going to be chopping away and wearing them down too quick. And it also gives me a lot of fatigue because it hurts my wrists and I can feel the whole thing in my hand. Where I took the Titans and just for one straight minute, was able to just get as much power out of my snare as I could, and you know I had a, a wonky little little snare stand on there, so I had to give it a little bit of TLC to keep it moving. But uh, the sticks just they floored me. I uh, was able to sit for a full minute, and it wasn't exhausting to have to sit and do the same room shot over and over. And so the first thing I was looking out for when I did a wear test on my hi hats was one to see the effect on my cymbals. Because uh, obviously those sticks aren't made of wood, so I wanted to see how that would go over as far as the bronze. But, uh, you know, first things first, it did everything it was supposed to. I got a lot of sound out of it, I got a lot of good feel, but the hi-hats themselves, I didn't even notice any marks as if they were hit in the first place. And then coming to the stick, you know, I'm laying into them and just going for a straight minute, chopping as hard as I can, and using both of the sticks back and forth. Um, you know, obviously you're going to see marks, but it's not as if you're traditionally hitting... Uh, hickory or you know a maple drumstick so everything coming out of these sticks was probably the coolest thing I ever could have uh, encountered in a drumstick they're definitely the most durable and the most comfortable sticks um, I've played another brand and another material before that was definitely a compromisable uh, alternative I guess is the word to use there but at the same time it still it wasn't making the cut it didn't do anything for me and as far as aesthetics went, it was just there's too many parts and stuff like that. Uh, these guys are just a stick. Um, it's literally as comfortable as going and grabbing a 5B off the shelf, but you know it's not made of hickory anymore. These guys are indeed made of aircraft carbon, aircraft grade carbon, aircraft grade carbon fiber composite. And the longevity of these is just mind blowing to me. Uh, being able to sit and play a whole song, play a whole set. Um, I'm not catering to a stick anymore. I got a stick that's catering to me, and uh, it just feels great to know that that's that's an option now. Uh, in retrospect, I'm thoroughly impressed with these sticks. Uh, first off, I used a entire song for a playthrough. Uh, I did "Starve" by Dark Sermon, and it felt really good to be able to get an entire track out of them. And instead of just sitting on a snare drum by itself or just a hi hat, which you know was another really cool idea to just take the stick and push it to its limits and see everything we can get out of it. You know, playing a song, I didn't get done and feel like it was something I had to work a little extra to get some stick out of it, or I had to play a little less as well. They were really comfortable, everything felt great, and I was able to get through the track uh, as if, you know, they were sticks I've been playing for years. Um, 
they fit really good in my hands. They felt really nice even after playing a full track. There wasn't any extra slippage or any weird coverage on those. And going from the Rift Test, I was able to take those in comparison to the Shogun and just the classic American Hickory 5B, and they still were able to outshine the two. And being able to go back and forth from one stick to the other and just play the same riff the same way, um, the tones and the sound and the feel out of them was just incredible. There's no no rival as far as playing and as far as the sound on those as well. And then, you know, overall, going from the wear test to the song and just being able to play them and have these cool sticks as something new, uh, you know, as a wrap-up, these were just incredible. I recommend them to everybody, and, and I'm going to be taking them on tour. So.